What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all the issues we can expect to see with update 33 today once it launches on console. Yesterday, the community manager over at Zoss, Gina Bruno, put out a list of things that they expected to see on console, some problems they expected to see. I will link that list down in the description if you'd like to read over it for yourself. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. She started off by saying below, you'll find a list of issues that we expect to be present when update 33 launches on console on March the 29th. These are some of the same issues that occurred on PC a couple weeks ago when update 33 launched on the PC side of the game. She said, please note that this is not a comprehensive list and only a list of the high priority problems. So you may run into some small issues or bugs that may not be listed here, but I think the team at Zoss is just trying to get a list of the bigger problems kind of out there so everyone on console will kind of know what's going on if they run into any of these issues. So the first thing she talked about was the first time you log in after downloading the update, it will likely be a pretty long load screen. This is due to back-end account updates relating to account-wide achievements. Once this completes, all future load times should return to normal. And a lot of PC players reported that it was taking them 5 to 10 minutes to log in the very first time. So just be aware, if it's a pretty long load time, right after the update, the first time you log in, it's nothing wrong with your console. It's just all that account-wide achievement back-end stuff kind of, you know, getting saved, getting loaded into the game. I'm sure if you have a lot of characters, that may be an issue as well, you know, because you're having to get all those account-wide achievements on all those characters. So if it's a long load time for, you know, your, your first time logging in after the update is complete, just be aware. It may take a bit, but after that, everything should return to normal. Also, your map will occasionally display completed POIs. So this can be things like world bosses, dolmens, or delves showing to be as incomplete. So even though you've done them in the past, it may show that they're incomplete on your map. They said that will be fixed in the next patch. So that's not going to be fixed now. You'll have to deal with it for a little bit. When the next update comes out, that should be fixed. Also, they said if you get changed, to the first person view while you're in third person. That is also a problem going on. It says occasionally this can happen. They are working on a fix for this for a future patch as well. So if you're running around in third person, your normal view and you get changed to first person automatically, don't worry, you didn't hit a button wrong. Your controller's not breaking. It is a bug within the update itself. They said there also may be a rare instance where you could get booted from the game with error 326. If you get this error code, you will not be able to log back into that character. If you run into these issues, please submit a ticket at account.elderscrollsonline.com. Now, this is not a huge issue on PC, but I have seen some players reporting this problem for the last two weeks. So it's not like it's a day one problem. It's pretty much been a problem since update 33 launched on PC. And like I said, not a massive amount of PC players have experienced, but some have. So if you get update, uh, if you get the update, you get error 326 when you log in. You will not be able to log back in on that character. You will have to file that ticket at account.elderscrolls.com to be able to get access back to that character. You will be able to log in on your other characters, but you will be locked out on that particular one. You got the error code on, so be aware of that. It may not happen to many people, but if it does, you'll kind of know what's going on. Also, it said for, uh, for visibility, the following issues that occur during the PC launch will not be present during tomorrow's console launch of update 33. So I'm guessing she's talking about some things that, you know, the PC side had problems with, some things they got fixed server side that should be fixed server side for P, uh, console as well. But I'm assuming she kind of let these, you know, or kind of talked about these to let us all know if you're experiencing any of these problems to let them know because they should not be happening. So this is a list of things that we shouldn't be seeing. Exceptionally long load screens when jumping between zones or activities, issues with the activity finder, crashing upon starting the game or before reaching the character select screen, or your game settings suddenly reverting. So if you have any of those problems, I would definitely report them to Zoss on the forums, tweet Gina on Twitter and let them know what console or what platform you're on, you know, old gen or new gen, and tell them exactly what's going on if you're experiencing any of that stuff because it should not be happening. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.